You're listening to KEXP. You can find us at 90.3 FM in Seattle, streaming worldwide at kexp.org. I'm Cheryl Waters. I'm here with my good friend Meg and their band Hand Habits. Welcome. Hey, Cheryl. You've been in the studio many times. We actually added up cumulatively all the band members' times in studios. And it was almost a double almost. digits, but first time for Hand Habits. I know. It's so exciting. Very exciting. And Placeholder is your new album. That's and right. you're going to play songs from that today. It's we sure are. Hand Habits live on KEXP. Hand Habits live on KEXP. That is the title track from the new album, Placeholder. That was absolutely gorgeous. Thanks, Cheryl. Oh, thank you so much. I am so excited to be hearing these songs live. Every instrument sounds amazing. Your voice is oh, incredible. Thank you. Okay, that piano. <laughs> Casey, that's amazing. We were saying we wish that every show could just feel like this. Oh, I bet every show does. You sort of surround yourself with people that feel like family. And I feel so fortunate to have 
Um, met you many times when you were touring with Kevin Morby, and that felt like a real family. Yeah. And just meeting you in studio and running into you um, out and about. I saw you at Pickathon, right. and, that and was fun. it was super fun. And you you had an energy around you as a group of musicians that did feel like a family, and even just running into you and spending some time with you made me feel a part of that. I think that that comes through in both the music that you and Kevin make, and I am hearing you live with Hamd Habits for the first time, and I'm feeling that once again today. Thanks for noticing. It's very special. Thanks. It's important to me, you know? You gotta be comfortable with your crew. I think it really benefits the fans and the listeners as well. Mm-hmm. What are you going to play next, or do you need me to tell you? Why don't you tell us? <laughs> I think you're going to play Pacify. Yeah, that's right. Wait until the morning 
We're live in the KEXP studios with Hand Habits. I'm Cheryl Waters here on the Midday Show. And since we talked about this beautiful family of musicians that you have with you, you want to introduce your band? Yeah, my pleasure. This is Casey Johansson over here singing, playing keys, playing the piano. Hello. Sometimes she plays guitar too. Kevin Leroux over there on the bass guitar. John Andrews over here on the vocals and the drums. You might recognize them. Yes. In the band Quilt. Love that band. I actually love all the bands that you've been associated with, all of you, and um, so great always to have you here. And Meg, again, you've been here many times, um, most notably with Kevin Morby, and this is actually your second album, Placeholder, but you were so busy <laughs> being yeah. on tour, you really didn't have a lot of time to put focus on Hand Habits with the release of the first record. I know you did a little bit of touring, but yeah. now you're focusing on this. I know you self produced your first album does that also mean you recorded it yourself I recorded most of it actually Kevin and I started to record that record together in upstate New York and we did a couple songs together and I started writing and sort of gained confidence that way with not really feeling like I needed to go into a studio and then I moved to Los Angeles and finished the rest of it in my my bedroom yeah but you went a very different route on this record. You uh -huh. went into a studio. You went to Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. It sounds like um, a very confident sounding record, I would have to <laughs> say. You. Tell me about the experience of making this record. It was, yeah, intentionally I wanted to work with other people. I, I, had, I worked with Bradley Cook, um, who's f from Wisconsin and part of that whole Eau Claire magical crew, and, um, and Aaron, Andrew Sarlo. I produced the Big Thief records, and it's funny, I actually started the whole process thinking that the two days that I had in Wisconsin with Brad was going to be a trial period, um, and I was just trying out a bunch of different options, different producers, and uh, we ended up tracking seven songs in two days. That's a lot. I know. We just we just had something special. It was me, Brad, and Zach Hansen, and Chris Messina was there for a bit, too. And yeah, we just had something special and worked really hard and it just worked. Um, yep. I had demoed all the songs out too already. So a lot of them, they learned and it was really, really fun and really special. And then went back to LA, did vocals. Uh, and two of the songs, Andrew Sarlo felt very passionately about wanting to give it a try. So I said, oh, why not? That's so great. You're um, a very accomplished guitar player and an in-demand studio musician, and I know you've worked with a ton of folks that we love here at KXB, mm -hmm. Kevin, of course, and The War on Drugs, Wise Blood, Amber Arcades, and more. Yeah. Were you able to call in some friends to work with you on this record? Um, John and Casey are both on it. Sorry, Kev. Next one. Um, well, every other, right? Um, and yeah, uh, who else? Hannah Reed from Lomelda sings on it. Um, Griffin Goldsmith of Dawes plays drums on it. That was really fun. Brad plays on it. Andrew plays on it. Lizzie Powell from Land of Talk sings on it, which was... I know you're, know you're a big mind. fan. Yeah, I'm yeah, a big fan. fan. <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't call in as many friends as I would have liked just because we did so much of it in Wisconsin and it started to sound cohesive. But all those friends, yeah, so special. Well, and you want to save some friends for, for the next one. For the yeah. next record. I can't do it all <laughs> at once. You've said that these songs are the most direct songs that you've written to date um, and that you had a very clear intention. I know that you write a lot about real life. Um, I mean, most records really are right. about real life to some degree. But tell me a little bit what you meant about having such a clear intention on this record. I think I was grappling with a set of emotions that I uh, were new and a lot of confusion. But then songwriting becomes the process in which I pr in, in which I process them. That it becomes the vehicle for processing and. When I started writing, I think the first song of this cycle was Placeholder. I can't really remember. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I actually learned this too, I think, from playing with Kevin because I think he is such a, a wonderful songwriter and watching him write on the road. And I wasn't really afraid to say things, you know, because I think that that gets in the way sometimes. Um, yeah, and so there's a lot of, a lot of, I think complex situational paths that led to those emotions, but I wanted to figure out how to like say them, yeah, without being afraid. 
I talked about what a strong guitar player you are, and you kind of let it rip on a lot of the albums that you've played on, and there's a real subtlety mm. on your own records, which shows an extreme talent to be <laughs> able to have that restraint and uh, have such a warm, compelling record. It was that a concerted decision on your part, and you know that you can totally <laughs> just yeah. like take that big major lead? For sure, yeah. I think the live shows we definitely, I let loose a little bit more. But yeah, I don't. I didn't really want to make a guitar heavy record, especially. Yeah, that's that. Didn't the songs didn't need that? Um, they, they didn't. They weren't calling for that. Uh, one day I'll make a, a guitar record, though, probably. Your voice sounds so beautiful oh, on thanks, this record. Cheryl. And you've actually, I've read in interviews where you said you really wanted to focus on your voice. Yeah. I imagine with all the touring that you've done, you know, you've, you've gained um, yeah. some experience. Absolutely, yeah. How did you take that into the studio and also how's that working out for you on tour? It feels really good to have more control, t to be honest. Yeah, I quit smoking, <laughs> which really helps. Um, I passed a billboard the other day that was like, within 12 hours of quitting smoking, you get 30% of your lung capacity back. And I really feel like I have more capacity, but yeah, I, I used to, again, back to fear, but I used to be so self-conscious singing, I think, um, and in my mind, my identity was so heavily tied to being a guitar player and not a vocalist or a singer. And yeah, and, and I just, I had a couple experiences where I was like, oh, I can sing, okay, you know, I'm getting there. And I wanna just keep getting better. That's great, to, so much to hear because you are such a strong guitar player, you could hide behind that. And right. I imagine um, being so in demand for studio work gives you some space to be able to you yeah. know, work on your own music and know that you can have sort of this longevity. Yeah, I hope. <laughs> That's the goal. <laughs> I hope so, too. We're live here in the KEXP studios with Hand Habits and playing songs from the new album, Placeholder.
Put me in a dreamy state. Nice, yeah. That's nice. Hand habits live on KEXP.
Oh, so beautiful. This new record makes me so happy. Oh, that makes me so happy. Thank you so much. It's Hand Habits live here on KEXP. Placeholder is the new record. It's going to make you so happy too. Thanks, Cheryl. Thanks, all of you. Thank you, Cheryl. I hope we see you again soon. I hope so too. We love it here. You've got it tuned to KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.